This is my wife and three of our daughters. This is my oldest daughter and her husband. This is my oldest son and his wife. My youngest son and his wife. This is uh, that little one, her, her family. That's, that's my wife. This is my brother and I. That's oh. the south side of the house out in the farm. But how old are you in that picture? Oh, I don't know, seven, eight, nine. Okay. This is my brother and me out in the farm. This is my Uncle Don, they raised the furnace. This is Father Joe Sanger. This, you don't know. I have no idea. No, okay. <laughs> This is me and the boys here. This is us, my wife and I. This is my youngest daughter when she got married. Here's my second daughter. It's Keith, he's out in the farm. That's out in the farm. And this is uh, my brother-in-law and my wife and I. This is Vernus and me when I was going with her. You take the horses out to see her? No. No. <laughs> the, horse, the horse didn't know it. This, but this is our family here. Cause they faded. We had to put them in our fifth year, and the picture flew fade. Mm. This is here's the family. Where is mine? It's the oldest boy. This is our twenty fifth. And you've been married six. 63 years, years 63 years. How did you meet your wife? Out in the barn dance out here, right out of town. Really? And if it wouldn't been for that, I'd been a priest today. <laughs> <laughs> so were you were you intending to go on to seminary before you met her? or? Well, anything was better than farming <laughs> at that time. <laughs> so then she, then you found her, then you got stuck with farming. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> this is part of the school. There's 26 kids going to school. This is school out there where I went to. Oh, this, oh, are you in here? Oh, yeah. Nick X's name. Right here. This, this is, is a brother. This is my brother. We brought a scanner with us. We'd love to scan this in. This is great. So that, was this a article that was written, or? Yeah, I had to, one time my sister sent it into school, into Tribune here. Okay. So the school was called Brazil? Brazil School Brazil Number school. 2. Number 2. There was four schools, and most of them had that many kids at that time in one township. Three, four years ago, it had four kids in that township. So, when you look, you know, you, all of the kids in bib overalls and the girls wearing that's, hats. That's, those... that's the way they were dressed. We had a clean pair of overalls that you put on when you went to raid the school. When you went to the barn, you had another pair. Oh, okay. So, when you got home from school, it was change the clothes? Yeah, and... yeah. That pair, you could probably still stand up. It wouldn't, uh, you didn't have to. <laughs> <laughs> so, was, would girls, and a lot of the girls are in dresses. Was dresses The dress, girls? that was the thing at that time. Okay. So you met her at a barn dance. How long after you met her did you marry her? The next morning. The next morning. <laughs> no. <laughs> I think the courting process usually lasts a little longer. <laughs> made two years, I think, wasn't it? 41 to 43. I got married during the war. I had a farm deferment. Oh, okay. Because I was the only boy. You know, My brother was a priest. So my, my dad could never drive a tractor. He never did. So how did the war affect life in the U.S.? Yeah, it was tough. We, 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 the ones that stayed home, in the Battle of the Bulge, there, every uh, farm, two seats they were called, farm deferments. We were all down to Fort Schnelling. If they, uh, the Germans would have kept coming, I suppose we'd have been drafted. Were there things, I've heard of rationing. How did that affect your family? Well, most of the time, I know one thing. My ta my dad t turned some tires in, and later on he needed the tires. He could only drive 35 miles an hour. Then he was mad because the, the, he, he couldn't get no tire. And tires were poor to start out with, 35 miles an hour. There was it, was it was tough. Sugar and cream and all that stuff. Then that's where the, the chairman left me, too, at, at, during the war. Because he didn't want to go out and 
be heard talking German, you know, what the heck. Was, was there discrimination against Germans at that time? Not noticeably, I don't think, but they, uh, that's not, most boys around here were in, in service in the, over there, or, you know, German boys, or German nationality boys, German from Russia. So do you have a wedding picture of you and your wife? So what was your wedding like? 50th anniversary, what's this right here? That's, 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 that's part of the fifth year. Somebody made this for us. That's beautiful. She, she passed away. This is when we got married, and this is our fifth year. This is when we went to cruise with the family. Oh yeah? When did you do that? About six, seven years ago. Did you like it? Oh, that was the best thing I ever did. <laughs> Where did you go? To the Caribbean. Down to the Cayman Islands and... Jamaica? No, Mexico, Cantoon. And, uh, This is, my folks got that for their wedding anniversary. Really? This is 1913. So this picture here, when was that taken of you guys? Before we were married. Okay. Maybe 42, 43, 42. What was dating like back then? How, what would you do to go out? Uh, would you go to a movie? I mean, what oh, yeah, I think we had a lot of movies. Barn dance. Every Sunday night there was a bar dance someplace. In those days, like, you could, could even dance. <laughs> Can't do that anymore Did either. Did you like dancing? Oh, yes. 50 years of celebration? Who's this? Is this? That's her sister in her office. Okay. When is her sister? So this is your folks' wedding, yeah. wedding picture, and your dad's name again was Frank. Frank, and your mom was Magda Magdalena. Magdalena. Is it M A G D E L I N A? I think there's a D A. D A. And do you know what year they got married? Who, my folks? Mm -hmm. In 1913. 1913. Did they ever tell you about their wedding day? Where they got married at? Or? No. No. Do you know how long they were married? A little over 50 years, I think, maybe 52 or 53 years. Okay, here. Here's Magdalena. Here's my my folks now. Oh, great. Frank J. Axman and Magdalene Bow. It shows where Frank was born in, in Baden, Russia. Yeah. And then died in rugby. Okay. We married June 30th, 1913. Okay. And then these are all of the kids? Yeah, yeah. Okay. This is the one that died in the crib. Okay. This is my older sister, then my brother. He, he was a priest, of course, later on. This is me, then the four year old sister. I didn't like them, they all startled on me. So, with the loss of Anton, did your parents ever talk about, about him at all? or? Yeah, they talked once in a while. He's buried in Bolton. Okay, okay. And with Joe becoming a, uh, a priest, was that something that was expected of him, or is that something that he just knew he wanted to do? Well, he went, he kept going, so I suppose, <laughs> I suppose. Okay. 
he uh, he was a priest until he died in uh, 2000, 2000, 4th of July. Okay. He died on 4th of July. Did, was it just old age or? He was 83 years old. 83 years old. Was he sick up until that point or was it a sick? Well, he retired, he should have retired earlier, but he worked about a year, year before he died. He, he was a priest in Munich. Near Dakota. Who were you particularly close to when you were growing up out of your brothers and sisters? Well, my brother when he was home. Okay. Clara, my oldest sister. How old were you when, when uh, Joe left? When Joseph left? He, he, he uh, well, he was home in the summertime most of the time. Okay. But he left, he became a priest in 44. Then, of course, he was going after that. So what is this page in? Is this like um, something that somebody's put together for you? Or? Yeah, yeah. See, now here, here's my grandpa and his family. Okay. Elizabeth Wangler. And then your dad was the oldest in his family? Yeah, yeah, well, that's, yeah, that's... Okay. These got all come over here, all this. I think these three were born over here, the rest. rest no, these born. four, the rest, these all come over. All of these, um, the, the men look like they have J for the middle uh, initial? Two. Well, there was, t there was two of everything. There's, for an example, there's four Nick Xmas around here. So my name should be F, but to find out who, who I belong to, everybody went to the father's name. Oh. That's the way they got F. Mine actually is Andrew. And Nick P. from Orange, his name was Peter. We were in the same route, Nick P. and I. So, so, so the only way, we, if they didn't put the initial on, we didn't know who, who uh, whose letter was for. I come, I come to Devil's Lake once to a, a 25th wedding anniversary and got hecked. Well, didn't get an invitation. Well, the other Nick P got it and he was down to the wedding. <laughs> this is not my grandfather. These are kids that stayed over there. My great grandfather. Okay, this is the one that's pictured right here. Right, right, right. Okay. And he never came to the U.S. No. He was only... See, he got married the second time, second wife. So do you know um, how his first wife died? No, I don't know how she died. I okay. Didn't know. okay. So did your, did your grandparents or parents ever talk about... Your great grandfather when you were growing up? No. No, this is just all stuff you found yeah, and, yeah, and we've, researched it. Right, right. Okay. Was this um, the photograph that you have? Was this something that one of the children had with them when they came? When they came uh, yeah, somebody had it. It was shipped to me from, from somebody else. Okay. See now, you for an example here. X with two ends. Okay. Now, this is what Father Boniface. No, that ain't it. A priest, a, a Mad Axman family had a ride up over here. Over to one end. And when the end here, they comment why he has two ends, Martin Axman. All two ends. And they got lazy, somebody got lazy. Oh, here. Spelling the family name X-Men or X-Men. It was always X-Men with two N's. When Frank registered in America, he was asked, according to the oral report, that put on an X in front. The name was written as registered officially who mistakenly spelled it X-Men. Hmm. That's interesting. So this picture here is... is 
Who's in this one? My grandpa. Your grandpa? Which one is is he? Okay. And so is your dad in this one or? Right here. Okay. Let's just hit this one here. Do you know who the other people are in the picture? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, we're all me, part of the family. Let me let me write these peop this down then. Let's see here. We'll go um we'll do the two boys in the back first. And top row. And that's gonna be Frank. He's your dad. Right, right, right. Okay. And then who is the young man next to him right Peter. Here? Peter. Um, Peter. And that's your grandpa. And what was your grandpa's first name? Joseph. Joseph, okay. And then who's the little girl in the middle? Duh. With the candle, I think is what she has in her hand. Her name is called Odelia. O-D-E-L-L-A? O -D -L -L Wait a minute, I'm not... Oh, here oh, it is. O-T. Here it is. O-T-T-I-L-A. And then... That's your grandma, right? That's grandma. Grandma. And her name was... Elizabeth. Elizabeth. And what was her maiden name? Wangler. Yep. Okay. And then we have the little baby. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, <laughs> four, five, six. It must have been Francis. And then the little little top right in the middle. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Mary Eva. Gunigunda. Oh, that's a different one. Gunda. Okay. They all were best types after somebody. If you go back to record, you find some grandma had that name someplace a long time. Okay. See, here's my young sister, Gunda. Oh, okay. So they all have some... She baptized after my aunt. Okay. And this here, we'll put this here so that they can see that. This is the ship mm -hmm. that... Was it both grandparents came over on the Kaiser? Not, well, yeah, but they're different times. Different times? Okay. That ship must have been used pretty regular. Do you know, um, I don't know if they ever mentioned, did they ever tell you how long the trip would take coming over from Russia? Uh, yeah, I think it's in here someplace, okay. but I, I don't know if I can find it. I know they had to stop over and... Uh, in uh, the island, you know, what that where they had to stay because they were smallpox or something like that. Were you ever really sick when you were growing up? Oh, yeah, I'm sure it was. Did they have doctors that would would visit or? Doctors would come out to the farm, but I don't remember ever see, seeing a doctor. Okay. Did your mom have some home remedies or anything when you got a cold that she would do? In 1918, I was told that later, we had, we had a guy, my dad raised a guy by the name of Martin Sattler. He grew up in the farm. He was, his parents died and my parents just kept him. And, and uh, my dad and this Martin were really sick. And my mother cleaned 190 alcohol, brought him through. Well, I suppose it was just like a disaffected or something, yeah. I don't know.
Scarlet Fever. Was the entire, all the kids quarantined at Yeah, Lynch? we were quarantined the, the farm. You, the farm was quarantined. Yeah. Did you ever con, uh, get it? Or? I never got it, no way. I was too tough. <laughs> too tough or too ornery? <laughs> well, that's another story. <laughs> See, here's the list that come over at the time. Oh. Here's X-Men. Okay. This Frank. It's he's on there in Goody Gunda. Now here's X Men, just the twins here. They were said to come over. Now here's my grandpa. That's okay, and that's his wife, your grandma. Yeah, right. Okay. She these two wants to come over. Is this how old they were when they came yeah, over? Yeah, when they come over. So they were thirty two when they came over. And a lot of these names all homesteaded around here someplace. Oh, okay. They just kind of, kind of grouped together, you know, as to come over. Huh. So, is it, this is stuff that you are just now learning about as you, as other people dive into your history. Yeah, stuff, right, 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 about. right, okay. right. Huh. Oh, I wanted to, the picture of the, font, the kids at school. Oh. Do you know what newspaper this, this was? Uh, Pierce County Tribune, I'm thinking. Pierce County. Does it say so in there? No, I guess not. But I'm sure it was. Okay. Was it a pretty rare occasion for for a kid to get, the, or for a school to get their class picture printed in the newspaper, or? The teacher usually did it. Oh, okay, okay. So how often um, would the newspaper be delivered to the house, or was it something that your parents would have to go purchase? Did they have to go to purchase? I don't think we had a newspaper when I was a kid. Okay. What types of things would your parents do for entertainment when you were a kid? Well, they they visited the neighbors. Everything was, you know, they were kind of inter intertwined. You know, they they had company. Okay. We had a phone out there at one time. I think it's maybe in the middle 30s, Brazil School, Brazil Exchange. And it was, uh, it got down to a dollar a month. And pretty soon there was only three farmers on there. Joe Smalls, Florin Exman, and my dad, and John Hufford. So they quit the food. Couldn't afford the name. Farmers put that up themselves. The, you know, it was a farmer-owned phone. Like you are right here, here. Yeah, this one here, that one looks so mean. <laughs> who were you, uh, were you, who was your good friends in here? Well, this is Pius Hilton there. This is Father Joe. This is, uh... Father Joe, uh... My brother. Okay, okay. This is Phil Weigel, Andrew Axman. You heard Andrew Axman, we know Nick Schultz, I think. Um, Anne's brother. Okay. Now, we didn't really talk with much with Anne about her. By Eisen Zimmers. Okay. Martin Scherer. That's all. The Schmaltz is here. And Hufford's. Johnny Hufford. Phil Weigel. Casper Weigel. Casper and I. And Miss Kramer. Is, and is the teacher pictured in here? No. No. She usually took the picture. Okay. So, picture day would 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 it be announced so that you would could wear your best clothes, or was it something that would just happen? Or I think it just happened. Okay. We all had our best clothes when we went to school. There looks like there's a lot of girls in this in this picture. Was it common for there to be more girls than boys present at school, or just in your? No, school? I don't think. I, I don't think there was. Any attention paid to it? I don't know. It just it just happened. I think. You talked about the community that you grew up in being German Russian and being Catholic. Were any of the children that attended the school not German Russian or not Catholic? Oh yeah, just one or two on there. How were they accepted in the in school? Yeah, most of the time we got along. Okay. Okay. Hmm. 
Well, do you have any other pictures you would like to show us, or? There's a whole, whole bunch of pictures in the basement, but I don't think you want to go down there. <laughs> <laughs>